Hi guys! Programming in AutoCAD VBA is done in its own development environment called VBA IDE. There are two ways to open the IDE. One is to type the VBA IDE command in the command prompt and it should display the IDE for us. Another way to open the IDE is through the VBA man or VBA manager command but this one it gives us another interface where we can have some other uh, options here let's say we can load an existing project we can create a new project currently we have a default project here or we can embed the project into the drawing or we can even uh, define a macro in this uh, macro window and then when we are ready or we can even save it as uh, a DVB project we can have the help here by just clicking on the help file it should redirect us to the uh, the right context and when we are ready to do the coding then we can just click on this VB editor win, uh, button here so now we are in the IDE let us uh, explore each of the, the component in this IDE there are quite a, a bunch so let's go over each one of them at the topmost here we have the menu bars where we have the functionalities defined if you just hover over your mouse we will go to some of these commands later on but for now let's just be familiarize ourselves with what's in the IDE so below the menu bar we have here the toolbar we can customize the appearance of this toolbar by just clicking on these uh, toolbar options here where we can let me just go first with the standard where we can hide or show each of the icons see that every time I uncheck this one it disappears or we can just bring it back by checking them back again or you can just reset the toolbar here to reset to the original configuration so in this toolbar we can also customize this by adding a few more uh, main, uh, toolbars so let's say the debug let's activate the debug it shows here let's activate the edit we have here user form we have here let me close it we can also drag and position the toolbars properly wherever we want by just dragging from this uh, part of the control here okay another part of the IDE is the project explorer window this win window is used to manage our project we can add we can add some of the components for our program for example the user form we have here the user form and this is the toolbox where we have all the controls for our program for our user forms so you can rename the project here if you click on this and then you can rename let's say uh, extract attribute is uh, our project name 
and within this project we have the user forms here you can insert a module in this project and also you can manage multiple projects at a time but to do that you have to go back to the VBA manager and you can see and you can create a new project here and then let's go back to the editor and this is our new project and then we can rename this one to any project name you can think of let's say just draw object project all right so this is one project and this is another project okay so next uh, part of the IDE is the properties window the properties window uh, gets populated if we have selected a user form for example so in this case this is the current form and these are all the properties of that form we have here the this is the name of the form and this is the, the caption this is what is showing here so let's say test form you can see any change you make here will be showing up in this form here and you can also change the size the width let's say 100 or you can just drag this one and it adjust accordingly okay if let's say we put in one command button here and this is now the the current active control that is selected it has its own respective attributes or properties here okay so let's say say hello and we rename this button as cmd say hello this will be the name of our button here you can also change the the color let's say we put the background as yellow we change the font to bold and the size to 10 see it's very easy you can drag this one and it's let's say the width you can manually change it here 100 you can move the left location so there's so many properties that you can use or play around with with each of the control so th that is the properties window the next one is the object browser window so let's say if I click this one and we have here object browser or you can press F2 it shows all the classes or all, all the objects if we select one object let's say the ACAD arc these are all the properties of the arc we can use all of this in our code later on which means that all of these green uh, with green icons these are the the methods and all of these with the the pointer the hand pointer are the properties see this is the layer of the arc the line type the line weight and these are the, the event with the flashing uh, lightning here it's called these are the events of the art if it's modified or not so by by clicking or selecting each one of the properties here it shows at the bottom here is a layer and it is a string type 
this is the function, a method, and return an object. It's a move. It moves the entity object from one source, from source to the destination. So this this is very important. The the object explorer window because just by selecting the particular object or class from this uh, list box you can see all the, the properties and methods okay let's say select the line here we have the angle we have the endpoint we have the length, we have the start point, and these are all the methods. We can rotate, we can offset, we can mirror, we can move. So that's about the object explorer window or object browser window. Another part of this IDE is the, as mentioned, the toolbox where we can just drag and drop the control here. And another part is the watch window. This one here is used to uh, display the, the value of the variables. This is commonly used in debugging. Let's say if we are stepping through our code, then we would like to examine the value of the variables that we use in our program. Then this is where you can see it. We will explore this later on in the debugging and error handling section of the tutorial. And uh, another part that is very, very important is the code window. So if we double click on this button here, now we are in the code window, which means that the, the event that was uh, triggered is the button click and VBA, VBA IDE provided us with this uh, scaffolding the window uh, the code scaffolding which means that if we click this one then whatever is in this code will be executed so let's do a simple message just to wrap up this uh, section all right So now if we if we run this program you can just click on this green arrow here and click on say hello hello and welcome to the course all right this is very exciting just designing the form itself is already very exciting so we will go over through that when we start developing our uh, codes and that's about it for this IDE I'll see you in the next video